What's going on guys? This is James Allen and this episode is definitely for you transit lovers out there. In this video we're going to compare the New York MTA versus the San Francisco BART. Let's not waste any more time, let's get started. So BART has something called a clipper card. It's a blue plastic card which you use to get inside the train station. The New York MTA uses a bus pass called a Metro card. It's not a tap and go card and the card is quite flimsy. So it's very vulnerable to damages. The one thing I find annoying about it is that you have to swipe it and therefore you could swipe it incorrectly at times and completely miss your train, which sucks. So unlike the MTA, the BART Clipper card does not need to be swiped. All you have to do is tap it and it opens up and let you in. It's much faster than the swiping system that the MTA uses, I have to admit. How you get a Clipper card is by using this machine right behind me. Unfortunately, BART does not have an unlimited Metro card. You cannot get an unlimited weekly pass or a monthly pass. You have to pay for BART prices every time. Considering how expensive rent is in San Francisco, BART is definitely not helping. To get a Metro card, all you have to do is use one of these vending machines right behind me. And unlike BART, the MT does support unlimited metros. You can buy a weekly or even a monthly to travel all across the five boroughs of New York. So in a transportation department, the MTA is definitely cheaper. BART stations are relatively clean both inside the track and outside the track. When it comes to cleanliness, it's a hit or miss with the MTA. Some stations are impeccably clean. Most stations, however, let's just say that most stations suffer a, a hygiene problem. The MTA has over 840 miles of track and their train runs an average speed of about 17 miles per hour. They top out at 50 miles per hour. BART has 121 miles of train track. Their train runs an average speed of 35 miles per hour and tops out at 70 miles per hour. Wait, hold up. Did the MTA just get beaten by BART? BART trains are running at least 18 miles faster than the MTA trains. What happened to New York City is the city that's fast. Fast city, fast life, everything is fast here. New York City just got beaten by BART. Ah, oh, I'm speechless. So BART trains don't really have Wi-Fi. What's up with that? Considering San Francisco is the heart of Silicon Valley, I find that pretty odd. Oddly enough, the MT does have Wi-Fi. Considering that the MT is usually a dinosaur with these things, I was actually quite impressed to see that Wi-Fi is coming on in nearly all the stations. Unfortunately, however, they do slap you with ads right before you connect online. New York is all about its money. You get full signals inside BART station and inside the train as well. So when you're moving, you can still talk to your friend, text, and make phone calls. I thought that was pretty cool. You can get no signals inside New York trains. You can't call your friends, your girlfriend, your mother. You're just stuck with other New Yorkers in this box forever. BART serves several cities, not just San Francisco. It goes to Oakland, Fremont, Richmond, Dublin, and so on. Unlike the MTA, however, BART does not have buses. What's actually weird is that each of these cities have their own separate bus system. So you can't just transfer from a BART to an Oakland bus station, for an example. You have to buy a brand new ticket called AC Transit to operate in Oakland. The MTA has trains and buses. So all you need is this one Metro card and you could get anywhere throughout the five boroughs. Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Bronx, and oh, did I forget Staten Island? That's right, with this monthly card, you get around all five boroughs. BART stations actually close. They do not operate 24 seven. I believe their operating hours go from 5 a.m. to midnight on weekdays, and they start at 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. respectively on Saturday and Sunday. As you can tell by the gate behind me, BART is not a 24-hour thing. Unlike BART, which closes at midnight, the New York MTA never closes. That's right, in a city that never sleeps, the MTA couldn't shut down. 
So given these constraints, which do you think is better, BART or the New York MTA? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. Just post BART or MTA is number one. And I'll count which one was the ultimate winner. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more street information. And of course, if you want to support me, download the Cityscape app to find secret spots in your city. That's it for this episode, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Sleep? What's that? Us New Yorkers don't sleep.